Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repo Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I'm an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at Autodesk accounts and specifically the home use license aspect of it. So in order to get into this aspect, uh, you can open up Internet Explorer, Chrome, Firefox, Mozilla, uh, any one of the uh, browsers that are available. You'll want to sign in with your username and password, making sure you have contract administrative rights. So in other words, you either log in as the main contract administrator or you log in as a software coordinator who has those rights. Once you have logged in, what you will notice is that it will go through the um, it'll go through the process of checking your account and verifying what the account numbers are, and then cross-checking that against all the products and services that you own. Uh, as you can see here for this video cast for our company, we've got quite a bit of software, so this will take a little while. If your list is short, uh, let's say perhaps you only own uh, five or ten seats of a, of a particular software on a single contract number, then it should be relatively quick. <clears throat> when the list comes back and shows you all of the software that you own, you can then proceed to going to how to request home use license. Now, the basic definition of home use license is, let's say you purchased a seat of uh, AutoCAD and you're using it for the office on an office computer. You have the ability to request home use for that particular software to use uh, for the home computer. So let's say you wanted to take the work home and do some work at home. And in doing so, uh, you have to request permission to install the software with the correct serial number. So here's a list of all the software that we own. If I scroll down to what I want, let's say for example AutoCAD, you can see here it says AutoCAD. Underneath Downloads, there is a button for more actions. Click this, and here it'll ask you to specify home use license. When you click this icon, the Get Home Use window will open up and it will show for which particular software and whether you have standalone or network version. <clears throat> if it's standalone, it just tells you go ahead and you can install with the either the USB stick that has the installation files on it that you receive if you purchased the media, or you can just download the software again. When you install the software, you can just use the same serial number. <clears throat> In other words, you can install the software twice uh, before a uh, red flag, if you will, pops up uh, during the installation. If you have a network-based installation, you have to send a request. So if I click Send Us a Request, it'll ask and take you to this window where it will list the name of the software, the version, and how many you need. <clears throat> and then obviously specify your email address and your phone number and click Send Request. Once your request is received, they'll process the order, uh, the request, and then uh, when they're finished, they'll send you an email and or phone call to let you know you have the ability to do so. And that's it. That's how you go through the process of requesting home use on a particular software. Thank you very much for watching my screencast, and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.